Hey, I'm AC. Welcome to the very first Lake City Rock and Review brought to you by North Point Cinemas. I am joined by my co-host, Mo Lightning. What are you doing? It's like I can... you feel. It's a three... Whoa, that's a really good 3D. That was good. It's like you're so close to me. Yeah, we're, uh... You should probably take the glasses off. Those can kind of hurt your eyes after a movie. They're stuck to my face. Wow. Okay, so... Mo, un unfortunately, will not remove his 3D glasses, but we did just see the 3D version of The Great Gatsby, the F. Scott Fitzgerald classic novel that we were all forced to read in high school. And uh, in my case, I absolutely... He didn't read it in high school. I did. I absolutely hated it in high school. Was not expecting a lot out of this. I was too busy reading or having other people read books for me. I'd shove them into lockers, be like, read it for me. Yeah, you were not. It didn't. It didn't happen that, didn't way. Work no. that way. No, I just didn't read it. Yeah, but you know, some of us were forced to read it in high school, which makes you forced. Get... Some people probably actually enjoyed reading it. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, yeah, forced. Yeah. But I didn't expect a lot coming into this movie. I don't Never. think you expected a lot either. No, I expected it to be like some hardcore chick flick. Uh, I didn't expect you to cry so much in it. <sighs> you cried a few times in it, and which is understandable. Talk about this. Dang it. He needs a moment. Yeah, I expected it to be uh, more of a more of a, a woman's fair, but I actually uh, ended up walking out of the movie a lot more entertained by The Great Gatsby than I really expected. And the 3D actually helped as well, but uh, if anybody's not aware of what The Great Gatsby's all about, since you were forced to read it, what's The Great Gatsby it's about? It's the story of a man named Nick and his cousin Daisy. And uh, Daisy, at one point in her life, had a relationship with Mr. Jay Gatsby. He went off into the war. Uh, Tom Buchanan, big, rich, wealthy, wealthy mayor, millionaire guy, looks nothing like Mo Lightning, um, married her while he was away. Gatsby, on the day of her wedding, sends her a letter saying he's still alive. This is why he can't come back. Of course, we don't find out why till later in the, the book, the movie. And uh, so he uses Nick, who lives right next door to, to Gatsby, to, uh, to entice his cousin Daisy to come over so they can reconnect, basically, is the premise of the movie. So Nick Calloway is Calloway. used in this movie. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. But does he know he's being used? I don't think he cares. He doesn't if, care. if a rich guy invited you to his house, would you just care? If he wanted you to come to his parties and take you in his, his it, hydroplane? It depends on what the agreement is in the email that's, ahead that's of true. time and how many shameful things I'm going to have to that's do. True. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> with with wow. the great Gatsby, uh, you and I have been talking about this off the air for uh, for a couple days now since we've seen the movie about the the switch. My big issue was halfway through it U turns. The momentum completely uh, differs. Basically, this story, The Great Gatsby, is about the extravagance of uh, 1920s New York and the loneliness, the emptiness that comes with it. And I'm not really quite convinced that they nailed the emptiness of Jay Gatsby. I, I think later on in the movie they did, but I don't agree necessarily on the switch of, of things. No, it switched. No, I, I don't think, I think it was, it, he had his party, he had his, his party, and the reason he's throwing these parties is because he wants her just to wonder it, he wants Daisy to wonder in at some point. Everybody else in New York comes, why can't she come? But then when he reconnects with her, the parties stop. Why do the parties stop? It's very simple, because he has what he wants. That's why there was a change. No, no, I don't mind that part. That, I don't question that part, but I never got the emptiness. I never got the emptiness of the, of the parties, which you have an issue with the parties that we'll get I to in a moment. I do have an issue with the parties. I, I didn't have a problem with the, the parties. It's just, you, I don't know why I'm supposed to feel bad for him. Yeah, he's missing, missing Daisy, which I don't understand the appeal of Daisy. We'll get to that in a moment, too. But you, when you finally get to the second half of the movie, I guess I just don't see enough connection between characters to justify ditching all of the, the parties, the momentum, the over-the-top 3D, the over-the-top music. The first half radically different from the second half. And even if they would have eased into it, I would have been okay with it. But they didn't. They just er, pumped the brakes and turned around. Well, that's because they got what they were they got where they were going. It's but there I didn't feel the connection between the characters. You didn't feel the parties. I didn't feel the parties. The parties, my biggest problem, The Great Gatsby set in 1920s New York. You know, you got the big flapper girls like Mo Lightning here. He didn't wear his dress, unfortunately. Is it under the clothes? Yes. Anyway, um, so you're doing the flapper dances, and this, this light jazz, the score of the movie, plays up into the big party scenes. And then when you hear the big explosion of the party, it, will you stop that? I'm sorry. 
the big explosion of the party, then Jay-Z just starts playing, or Beyonce, <laughs> or some other hip-hop pop junk. And while it may have worked in a movie like Django Unchained, because they did that a lot, they had Johnny Cash, they had other sorts of rap stuff, and that mixed well. I don't think it mixed well here. Now, Baz Luhrmann, the director, I've seen his other stuff. Moulin Rouge is still one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, but the problem with, with do, doing that here is it's a period piece. It's the 1920s. Even some updated versions of the songs, but not completely going the opposite direction, like teasing jazz, and then it's like, yeah, y'all, yo, what's, what's up, homie? You do that quite well. I do. Although, you talk about period pieces and this modern music, you just said Django Unchained did it, and that's a period piece. But it piece. worked for them. It I think it worked for this movie. I, I don't. I, I, I absolutely disagree. I, I, I will fight show, you. I will fight you to the death. I'd take off my glasses if I could. Well, I can't. I'm stuck to my face. No, uh, I liked it. Uh, it. While he didn't like it, I think it showed a sense of humor. It showed uh, a sense of fun, a sense of life to the parties. Uh, it may not be true to the era, but it, it was fun. It added to the 3D effects, which actually added and built for the movie a little bit. Uh, I was okay with it. It was weird. It was different. It made me laugh out loud when I'm hearing the Black Eyed Peas play at a 1920s party. But that's what made it fun. But then that's the fun that's also lost the second half of the movie. Well, I think there's still fun, but it comes in the form of, of at times, awkward acting. In the awkward half. acting? What do you mean? Tobey Maguire, who plays... Spider-Man. He, he plays Nick in the movie. Yeah, Spider-Man. You know, when you see Tobey Maguire in New York, you expect Spider-Man now. And, uh... That's a really weird swing. That is. Why are you swinging like that? I don't know. It's like I'm swinging backwards. It's weird. Hmm. But when you see Tobey Maguire, we were watching the movie and he's making this face that he's angry. And Modus leans over to me and he goes, hey, it's the same face he made when Uncle Ben died. And then he just leans slowly back away. <laughs> and I'm like, go back to the popcorn. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. How, you know, and, and come to think of it, yes. That is, uh, you know, he did good for most of the film, but there were aspects of it where you just can't change. It was like he didn't challenge himself enough in the film. And that was my, uh, my problem with that. Uh, DiCaprio did a great job. He did. Um, i uh, not a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio the first half of his career. I hated Titanic. Absolutely hated it. Hated most of the stuff he did after that. And then it's like he took a short break and just, the world. you're not the king of the world. I'm going to break you down every day now. This is what I have to work with every day. Yeah, so negative. Be positive. It's great. I don't even know what I'm going to say anymore. You're talking about the acting. Oh yeah, DiCaprio. Um, he uh, he did a great job in this. Again, not much of a challenge, I wouldn't think. No, I much like Tobey Maguire, I don't think the the role, the script necessarily gave him a lot to work with. Um, he shows some heartache in the movie, but I still don't show. I don't think he showed enough heartache. To truly, for me to resonate with the character, for me to feel bad for him, uh, as he's trying to pine over Daisy, who's another character, the actress did a great job, but I have no idea why I'm supposed to care for Daisy. Because she's Daisy. She's the love of his life. So? Even though she does not love him. Even, even when they reconnect, it's clear, and, and I think it was made clear in just subtle ways in here, not as much as it should have been, but in subtle ways, it was made clear that she loves the idea of Jay Gatsby. Here's my impression of Daisy. And then the next scene, kind of like looking, comparing the poster, and he, he's kind of yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all she did in this movie. I, I don't understand why she's pining for him. Uh, uh, Buchanan, Mr. Buchanan, her husband is fighting for I, she, A beautiful girl, obviously. Well, let's get this straight. Tom Buchanan not exactly fighting for her. He's, he's, sort of. he's content to be left with her when he knows things are going downhill with his mistress. Which, by the way, Conan O'Brien did an outstanding job as Tom Buchanan. Yeah, it wasn't Conan O'Brien. Conan, no. It wasn't Conan O'Brien. It was wonderful. Yeah, it was. It, it looked a lot like him. That's yeah, obviously. Yeah, he's kind of on the poster there, but... Yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah. You just can't see the red hair. He's got a head yeah, on. His, the hair was black. No. Yeah, well, he could die in a role. It was not Conan O'Brien. Joel Edgerton was the name of the actor. I don't think so. Joel I'm Edgerton. pretty sure it was Conan O'Brien's Spanish character, Conan. No. <sighs> I'm pretty sure. Kids these days. Pretty sure. But yeah, I didn't get the connection between the characters. I mean, they all did their roles perfectly fine. Uh, there was uh, the, the Daisy's friend. She uh, she was lost completely halfway through the movie, much like the U-turn I was talking about before, yes. where the momentum stops. There's characters that are introduced, and then halfway through the movie, they're forgotten about until the very last scene again. Well, yeah, but, you know, there were, there were secondary characters. Balance. 
balance them out. But you don't always need to balance yes. the secondary characters. You need to balance the secondary characters. Time. It was an enjoyable movie. The 3D, let's talk characters. about that real quick, yes. actually added to the movie. Absolutely. We, Absolutely. You and I went into it thinking, Great Gatsby in 3D, why? No. That, no, we don't need that. It will put you to sleep in three dimensions. It didn't. It, it didn't. No, it, it was didn't. very it was fun. Me. The parties yes. were as extravagant or as poorly programmed musically as they may have been. Terrible music. It was fine. Uh, it, it was very in your face, but they didn't distract. Unlike a lot of 3D movies where it's just something going towards the screen just to have something yeah. towards the screen. Yeah. This was good. This added to the, yeah, the movie. It, it was, it was a, a, a texturizing thing that Baz Luhrmann did with it. It wasn't so much, will you, you stop with the 3D? It's not even mine. They're nobody's now. Anyway, let me, let me talk. See what I gotta put up with. Um, but Baz Luhrmann, what he did with the 3D, he made the, the sparkling of the parties more grand. He made the, uh, the scenes where things looked dirty, more dirty, where people were sweating. The sweat would actually not come off the screen at you, but it was, you know, it was kind more, of awesome. more detailed. And he used it as a, uh, as sort of a, a facet of production, like a background piece. And I really liked what he did with it. First time I think I've seen that in a movie. Yeah, normally I, I don't go out of my way to see 3D, but I actually think th the 3D adds to this one, so if you have a chance to check out The Great Gatsby in any form, I would recommend ultimately do it. Absolutely, yeah. It may not have been our favorite film, but we did both enjoy it. I walked out much more impressed than I expected, and the As 3D did, did not give me a headache, it did not overwhelm me, and it actually added to the story. Yes, absolutely. There was nothing where glass shatters, and it's being shot towards the camera just to have it shot towards Hang the on. camera. 3D. 3D, here it comes. Woo! That was our 3D. We don't really have the, the right kind of cameras. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, check out The Great Gatsby in 3D rather than this 3D. You'll, you'll enjoy it a lot more. Out of six lightning bolts, because the thumbs we're not allowed to use. Uh, why are we doing lightning bolts? Is it because you're Mo Lightning? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't we do, like, out of how many fat guys? Huh? Okay, you do out of fat guys, I'll do okay, lightning bolts. there we go. All right. Okay. Out of six, uh, out we'll of keep the same scale. Okay, same scale. Even though you tip the scales. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say I'm fat. No. Your movie knowledge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So, out of six fat guys, I would give it four fat guys. Four fat guys. Four fat guys. Two open seats, everybody. Ladies. Sorry, not single. I'm going to give it four out of six lightning bolts as well. I hate agreeing with the general score, but it was an enjoyable movie, better than I thought it was going to be. And uh, fun in 3D. I, this is probably yes. going to be one of the few movies yeah. I ultimately recommend in 3D. Absolutely. I think everybody should definitely come and, uh, and check it out. Actually, can we help them check it out? I think we can. Let's help them check it out. Great Gatsby. You want to check it out? Lake City Rock and North Point Cinemas wants to help you out with that. Text the word GREAT to the number 45364. Again, that's GREAT it's right there. to the number 45364. It's right there. I don't see it's it. It's in 3D. You don't have glasses. It's there. See? Trust me. The one time I needed them. It's there. Great to the number 45364. And then next week when we do our video review, we will announce the winner and you and a guest could be seeing a movie on North Point Cinemas. Speaking of next week, Star Trek Into Darkness. I'm excited. Uh, gonna be a good time. What are you? Nanu Nanu. That's, I don't think that's right. Really? I, something just tells me that's not right. Huh. But you should probably bring your lightsabers. I'm gonna bring mine next week. Good idea. Good idea. Misa excited. Yeah. So Star Trek Into Darkness. And uh, you know, come out, join us. You, you know, we can't give the times we're coming because you know, we're, we're big local celebrities and all. Probably like two. Probably about the 2 o'clock. Probably, yeah. Probably. But if you see us, don't be afraid to come over, say hi, and uh, maybe we'll hang out with you if we're seeing the same movie. Just don't try to eat Moe's popcorn or he'll probably bite your fingers off. Yeah, it's not That's a good what he idea. Does. Not a good idea. On behalf of ACI and Moe Lightning, thanks for checking out the first ever Lake City Rockin' Reviews here at North Point Cinemas on Lake City Rock, 1073 WRSW.